Oh shit. Yeah, that killed me. This this big bastard right here is already on my nerves. Alright everybody, welcome back to another episode on the channel. We're jumping back into Dying Light 2. Uh to jump back in here to progress the story. Some more we last left off making friends with the peacekeepers. Now we have to go ahead and find the commander's killer and figure out um who did it so that we can get to where we need to go. So without any further ado, we're gonna jump on in here and see what we can get into. Okay, I'm not welcome to yeah, I got it. Let me just uh, hey there, get buddy. Good you're alive. Yeah, I got caught and questioned. Good. They didn't kill you. Meet me outside. Get myself a new weapon at the armory. Now let's go meet Hack on outside. Let's see what uh, he has to say about what happened. Alrighty, let's go ahead and continue on. I'm sorry about the lagging and stuff. I'm not sure what that's all about, but let's go ahead and go meet with Hakon. He's up there on the roof. Let's see what what we got to do now. Come oh, come on. Tell me all about it. I'm working on it. So, what did they want from you? Ader said he might let me through to the center, if I help him. What? What are you supposed to help him with? He wants me to find Lucas's weapon, the Lazarus. Went missing from the crime scene. And he believes finding it will help find the killer. The Lazarus, huh? Fancy set of brass knuckles, right? I know a guy who trades stolen goods and other shit he gets from thieves. A fence? Part-time fence, full-time scammer, an artless one, too. He's got half the city after him for death right now. If anyone in Villador is fool enough to buy a peacekeeper weapon, it would be him. And what's his name? Hubert Carbatos, also known as Half-Ass Hubie. Half Every day Hubie. <laughs> he sets up shop in the nearby windmill and waits for customers. Probably selling booze and weed to the PKs. If you want to find the Lazarus, talk with Hubie. I'll chase down some other leads. Okay, let's keep in touch. Awesome. Well, that went better than expected. So let's go ahead and find Half-Assed Hubie, because <laughs> that's his name now. I about fell off the roof. All right. Looks like I wonder if uh, being with them keeps those other guys off me now. Working with the PK, but it might not. I don't know. Well, like these guys, I don't think are going to be a problem. But it's the not entirely sure those other guys are with with the peacekeepers so i don't know we'll find out we gotta run through this herd of zombies here i don't have time to mess with them nor do i want to mess with them i just want to get to where i am oh god i have to get up i got um Make it, come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Oh, we made it. Oh, that was, that's, that was sketchy. Oh, okay, what the hell? That's okay, we get up here. And then we jump across. We gotta climb up here. Oh, shit. Um, we don't have to go that high. We just have to go to right here. There we go. You Hubert? No, not me. I'm waiting for Hubie too. So get in line. Got it. You know when I'll be here? Maybe in an hour. Maybe two. You never know with old half assed That said, he's got the best moonshine. So, worth the wait. Yeah, that's it. Uh, nothing to do but wait, I guess. gonna sit here and wait for who god knows how long would we fall asleep hey you hubert who's asking a customer i want to buy something hey you're that stranger they wanted to hang aren't you hey Hubie, you got a special customer it's that pilgrim from the bazaar but wait i just want to buy something so that was Hubie, wasn't it? Yep. 
Apparently had an urgent appointment with another customer. Yeah, that's it. I gotta track this yeah, dude sure. down. Come on. He's running away. Oh my god. Sounds like you be. Oh wait a sec. I gotta get I after this guy. Running to the northeast. I'm I'm going. I'm going as fast as I can. I got a minute ten to catch him. Faster, Aiden. You almost got him. That was pretty smooth though. <clears throat> come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I gotta try to catch him. Oh, hell. Come on, come on, come on. I don't got time for this shit. That last parkour monkey bar swinging, whatever you want to call it, didn't work out for me last time. Hakon, he's not here. Ah, Apusib, I saw him right there. That little weasel must be hiding. Look around. Oh, wait, I see him. He's climbing. See that GRE building? He's climbing to the roof. I don't see him. How am I supposed to get over there? Oh Lord have mercy That hurt Come on come on God dang it i'm dead Oh ho ho come on Oh, I don't know how else I'm supposed to get up there. Ah, oh, damn. Lost him. But he's got to be on that rooftop, Aiden. Find him. Come on. Son of a bitch. Ah. Uh, this no stamina is really cramping my style. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up there, get up there, get up there. Son of a bitch. I gotta get up on the roof and I don't know how to other than this way. Come on, get up there. Shit, I'm dead. I'm so low on health, it's not even funny, and I don't have anything to... I don't have any medicine. That's the jump that... Come on. Yes, we made it. Cubie! Cubert! I just want to talk! Where is he? There he is. Don't hurt me. I don't know anything. About what? I haven't asked you anything yet. I don't know anything about anything, I swear. I'm told that you're a fence, hmm? A fence? No way. A reseller, maybe, but... I'm looking for the Lazarus. Yeah, I used to belong to Lucas, the late PK commander. Hey, don't try to tell me you don't know who Lucas is. Well, then I won't. You know anything about the Lazarus? Are you kidding me? Even if I'd been offered those brass knuckles, I would have refused. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> that weapon is way too hot. How did you know the Lazarus is a set of brass knuckles, hmm? I didn't say that. Come on. Everyone knew about Lucas's little love glove. He was always showing it off. If anyone thought I had him, they might also think I killed Lucas, which is bullshit. But someone tried to sell it to you, right? I told you, I... Okay, fine. Maybe someone did, but I can't say who. 
Client confidential. Yeah, bullshit. Yeah, stop fucking around. Tell me or I... Her name is Maya. I met her in the tenement building at Meatpacking Square, near the old butcher shop. But I don't know anything else. Leave me alone. It overlooks some army barracks or some shit. All right, I can find that. All right, you're good to go. Swear to God, if you're lying, I'm gonna come back and kill you. Yeah. Hey, hack on. That's not what I wanted to do. Someone tried to sell him the Lazarus. Do you know Amaya? No. Strange, because I thought I knew all the women here. I'm headed to Meatpacking Square. Meatpacking Square. It's a fucked up place. There are some barracks there. The army set up in '23 when shit went south. She's supposed to be in one of the buildings that over. Saying 23 like that's okay. old. Stay in touch, bro. All right, I gotta find. Some, I gotta make some medicine. I gotta get some honey. Oh, I missed it. Oh, ho, 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 that was close. Ah, uh, there's an inhibitor. I don't have time. We gotta get over over here. But apparently, this is not a safe area, but. I'll fuck some people up. I don't care. Okay. Look for my. I hear him. Shithole indeed. Oh, this this sounds like a lovely place. Ah, ha, ha. I'm just gonna go ahead and take all of that because you guys don't need it. Hey kids, um, I'm looking for a woman named Maya. <laughs> it was so funny. Maya ain't a grown up. She's just a plain old girl. Hold on. You were the one trying to sell a PK weapon to Hubert? Yeah, but the jerk didn't want it. Got all freaked out and chased me away. How did you get a hold of a peacekeeper weapon? We all found it. Was wandering around with these punks and ran across a corpse. Happens a lot. He was totally dead. We searched him. And I took the brass who's a Watsits because I figured someone would pay a pretty penny for him. Okay. Well, I need him. Maya, I need that weapon. It's very important. You expect me to just hand that brass who's what's it over? Are you nuts? The who's what's it's real name is the Lazarus and it belonged to an important PK. We might have a war if I don't return it. You could help us find a murderer. Okay, I'll give you this stupid thing, but for 500. That's a lot of money, kid. Of course it is. Life's damn expensive. I have to buy water and a marker for my brother. He's turning 12 soon, you know. I can give you 10, and that's my last offer. Deal. Nobody wanted to buy it anyway. Did I actually get it? Oh my God. That was easy. Hack on. I have the Lazarus. Cool. Get your ass to Eto with it. It'll make the perfect birthday present for him. Though I have no idea when that prick was born. I'll be near Metro Station. Yeah, okay. we're gonna get this over to him. So we can continue on with what we need to do. Scavenging. I don't I don't have time for it. Let me in, let me in, let me in, let me in. All right. We're gonna have a very happy man on our hands, hopefully. Oh, the pilgrim has returned. I hope not empty-handed. I found the Lazarus. I'll be damned. I was right that you could open doors we couldn't. Where's the fucker who had him? In Meatpacking Square. 
You didn't let him go, did you? That could have been the murderer. Uh, a girl had him. She's 10 or something. She didn't kill him. Just looted the corpse. Stop. We'll get back to this later. Leave us. Ah, looks like a constellation on your arm. Those are rank tattoos. When we ran low on resources, tattoos eventually replaced medals. They show our hierarchy. Like in prison? Prison or military, it's all the same. There's always a pecking order. Of course there is. I did what you wanted. It's your turn. Get me to the center. Opening the tunnel to the central loop is beyond my pay grade, Pilgrim. Command wants me to find the killer. Aiders, you promised! Cool down, Pilgrim. I keep my promises. First, take this. Token of gratitude. Aider, I have to get to the center. Get it? You're looking for someone, right? I want to go to the central loop, too. My wife and kids are there. And I can't protect them when I'm stuck here. The tunnel will open when I find the killer. Is that clear? You can help me, or you can wait until I find him myself. I see traces of blood on the Lazarus's blades. Lucas managed to wound his killer before he died. Oh, bastard's got to have a nasty gash. If you find him, you'll not only help me, you'll be helping yourself. <sighs> okay. Do you have any suspects? The commander was murdered in the bazaar. There had to be someone from there. I'll try to find Lucas's killer. <clears throat> Splendid. That's your ticket to the center. Head back to the bazaar. Is there anything else I should know before I go? Yes, as a matter of fact. But this is totally hush-hush. Word of this cannot get out. Sounds serious. Whoever killed Lucas took a little trophy carved his tattoo right out of his bloody arm. They cut into his corpse? That is seriously fucked up. Yeah, seriously. Men found out Lucas was desecrated like that, they'd lose their shit. And it would be total war. I'm telling you this, because if you find that little... trophy, then you found the sick fuck who killed Lucas. Got it. I'll head out right now. Wow, that took all of our inhibitors? Okay. Well, that helped. Still alive? Worried about me, are you? Of course. I have high hopes for you, Aiden. Meet me outside. I'm coming. One, so now we gotta go to the bazaar and find the killer. Or I try to find the killer. Imagine. Matt Aiden wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. Oh, figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie, his right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless you prefer the girl. Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's, you'll see. <laughs> oh, great. That's what we need to deal with. He's coming this way, too. Oh, no, he's not. The holler's over there. Um. Turn my flashlight on so I can see. All right. Roofs, I feel like are the safest bet, but probably not super safe. Either way, we are definitely getting into some dangerous territory here. Doing this, but it needs to be done. Oh shit. Oh, there's a couple zombies right there. I really... There's a howler. There's a howler. I really do not want to be on the ground. Let's see if we can go the other way. Okay. 
We were able to upgrade our health though, so hopefully that'll help. Let's see about running around this way if we can do that. God, dude, there's like no real way to go. Jump down here. Jump across here. There we go. That's better than nothing. I really don't want to be getting into any chases right now. Because the real way to uh, end a chase is to be like back over there. Or the bazaar, which we're pretty close to. And that will help. Um. Oh, shit. Yeah, that killed me. Didn't get my nighttime bonus. Gonna have to respawn. Can't call for help. We're the only one in here. We were born smelly and we'll die smelly. Oh, you're always so negative about things, Naira. I don't. Because you don't understand me. I don't have time for no whatever that is. What I'm doing. Did it spawn us farther away? I don't even know where. Oh my. Well, it's not that far. We just don't have time for any mishaps Parkour challenge discovered Is that the, that's the bazaar, okay We can't can't go that way. That's a howler. That's a fucking howler Oh my god, I can't get in right there son of a bitch that's not helpful guys That's really not oh, okay the doors right here Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy chief. He ain't PK. How do you know they're creeping around here all the time? He's that outsider the pilgrim. Yeah, what he's from outside the walls Well, fuck me I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. Yeah, okay. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring your own so he can introduce himself. Oh, good. A nice change from wanting to hang me. Well, let's go meet Carl then. Civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. <laughs> that still sucks. Listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? No, we're, we won't Bad be rude and getting worse settlements are shrinking in size and number I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go doesn't surprise me son humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again and this is why we are here any more news not really but uh, why don't you tell me more about your people we are called the people of the bazaar simply because of where we live but who we are truly are free people free from lies free from money free from religion wars politics and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth that sounds great too good to be true in fact oh we have our challenges water is scarce for example but with courage and patience we will someday create a paradise well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization it was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, 
we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. This guy sounds loco. No for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. Oh, I'm not telling you shit. Where are you then? <sighs> a sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Uh, I picked the wrong fucking thing, so... That's my business. Not when you're on my turf, Pilgrim. But fine. I'll humor you. Your business, whatever it may be, is not a threat to us. After all, you're just one man. <laughs> and we are many. Okay, Go man. That way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. And I really hope your business doesn't make Herman angry. Farewell, my friend. Oh, fuck Herman. I'll beat everybody's ass. Sophie, can we talk? Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. You better drop me, you big fucker. My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Looking for a job? I only work with people I trust. You came from outside. They wanted to hang you. Nobody says anything good about you, Pilgrim. I don't care. Do you want me to trust you? Talk to the people at the bazaar. See if you can gain their trust. Are you going to make me if work so, for this shit? And it might persuade me to change my mind. Alrighty, everybody. Well, that is where we're going to wrap up this episode of Dying Light 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. I definitely got our work cut out for us. That's for sure. This, this big bastard right here is already on my nerves. But yeah, that's where we're going to wrap it up. I hope you guys enjoyed. I want to thank you guys for coming out and watching. Take care. Have a great night. We will see you in the next upload.